Oh, had to take a couple of seasons to try and put together a new one, but what a team this is looking like. Have Dignitas still got the form that led them to three perfect sweeps in one week, or is Team BDS just too good? We're going to find out in this upper bracket matchup. Reminded that whoever loses this, not out of the tournament yet, they will be dropped down to the lower bracket, where a very unfortunate Train Hard Esports awaits. Yeah, just a... A nightmare matchup there for Trainhard um, against the loser of this one. I think that we're looking at the grand final right in front of us right now. Um, we're just getting the the first iteration of it. Um, I really do expect the loser of this to go the distance. They've been so impressive recently, Dignitas. It's been all about defense for them, denying goals for a long, long time. And that's, you know, maybe going to be a bit of uh, something to watch out for. Will BDS get desperate? Will they start to, um, you know, play with a concerned sort of style if they go a while without scoring. Question can also be reversed back onto Dignitas. How do they look when they're a goal down? When they've got to start actually chasing up on these games? All questions that we're looking to answer across this series. Monkey Moon, though, I think for many people, Europeans MVP of this season so far. Yeah. He is uh, always going to be a nightmare to share a pitch with. Yeah, Monkey Moon is definitely, for me, the the one player who's made the single greatest contribution to any team um, in RLCSX. You know, there's definitely other players in that conversation missed from Team Envy, uh, Justin from NRG. But, uh, you know, Monkey Moon definitely in Europe has been the one complete standout player for me. Um, and he's the player that uh, Dignitas have to be most careful of, the one that they're going to need to really be thinking very uh, hard before contesting, especially for aerial battles. Monkey Moon is so fast to any aerial kind of race. Dignitas will need to pick their battles wisely against him. That's definitely what we've had so far. Both teams not shying down from making chances on net, but at the same time, both defenses just too good so far as Violent Panda will clear the ball long. Almost at the halfway point, no goal scored. Good fake out there from Monkey Moon. He gets the bring in mark by eight, who can follow this one up. No boost though for him. Well, enough respect though from Panda. Extra moves on, looks to try and set up. It's gonna be up to apparently Jack to take it away. Not only has he done that, he's got it over to Violent Panda. Jack could have probably taken that for a second touch if he wanted it. Yeah, Jack had an extra touch there and that's a brilliant piece of defending by him. He was under pressure. Um, awkward position to be in, but he dealt with it oh well. My. That's another one. Jack again gets a crucial touch. The crossbar also. Knocks the BDS shot, best chance of the game, off the bar. And I think Jack had it covered, had it been on target. Taking the task so far, past the first test of taking on BDS. Getting the ball out of your own side of the field has been a near impossible task for so many teams. Their transition game looking good. Apparently Jack though put into a bad spot there by Jorius. Not unintentional infield pass, Monkey Moon looks for oh. on the far side and Jorius oh. avoids being bumped, gets rid of it and he's <laughs> transitioned. What a play. I mean, if you were wondering how on earth have Dignitas kept so many clean sheets, how have they managed to perfect sweep so many teams? Three in their last five series have been complete shutouts. That's why you have got some unreal goalkeeping on this lineup. Jory is under pressure from a, uh, from a bump, manages to get the save after jumping to avoid what would have been a crucial demo for BDS. Now Violent Panda is going to be the one to try and set up these huge third man demos though from BDS. Up and out so much in terms of avoiding future pressure. Good air, mid air challenge, Jorius. All over the pitch at the moment. He has been by far the quickest of everyone here. Now it's going to be a follow up attempt. Oh. Both players jump for it. Here comes Panda. And his shot is going to off the post. I think it was covered no matter what. Good pop on there by Mark. Follow up is taken away by Monkey Moon. 50 seconds here. We're still waiting on somebody to try and break this deadlock. Monkey Moon passed down to extra. That shouldn't test. And BDS forced to defend more than we have seen from them in a lot of their series so far. Monkey Moon now going to drop this down. Where on earth is the hole in the Dignitas defense that you're going to have to exploit to get a hold of this goal? Infield pass, shot! Oh. And Monkey Moon keeps it out one more time. Jorius is going to take another one. But by then, BDS have recovered and they look to take it to the other side. Phenomenal save by Monkey Moon. What a game we're seeing right here. I don't think we've seen any critical mistakes from either side. It's been incredibly consistent. And to see Dignitas fully 
prepared for this one the way that they are is truly impressive. I mean, yes, they could do it in the offseason, but they're doing it in RLCSX now. BDS have got their biggest test in a while. And uh, they don't seem to be playing early here. This is a great showing from BDS as well, but still, no goals. And whilst we fully expect to get to see this again in a best of seven, in a best of five, this first one is so important. Mark by eight tries to clear. Monkey Moon forced to move in. Not the best touch for him, but it was one that he had to make to avoid Dignitas and getting control. Monkey Moon and Extra up to support each other. He's actually got Mark as well. He's going to take it past all of oh. them. And that deserved a finish. Monkey Moon looks fantastic. But now we get to the other side of the field. Extra wipes out the car. He bumps apparently Jack and BDS regain possession. A bit of a hesitation there from Dig, and a double touch from Extra, it's in the middle, apparently Jack blocks the shot from Mark by 8. Best chances of the game, going to BDS consecutively, now Jory has pre-jumped, Monkey Moon pre jumped to save, oh, what a bun. Is denied by Monkey Moon. Oh my goodness, what an exchange. What a game, and we have only just got started. Extra couldn't find the 100 boost, he's still going to try and set up, that's such an awkward bounce as well, and it's one that Mark's going to try and take control of, Jory is up. He will just pop the ball away. No immediate rebound available here for BDS, but they've got stronger as time has ticked along. Monkey Moon backs down. Pulled off it by Mark. Violent Panda wants to try and force the mistake. Double commit, not going to mean anything though. BDS is so quick to recover. A lot of their double commits tend not to hurt them in the long run. Oh, what a heavy first touch of this from Jorius, and that's really caught Mark out. He's at a very awkward angle here, but he's dealt with it well. I just don't know. But this is six and a half minutes yeah. of some of the cleanest Rocket League we've seen. Yeah, this is just a great game. Everybody in the field showing up for this one. And you know, credit to Panda. He's surrounded right now by mechanical monsters, all fresh out of the bubble scene. And he is holding his own. And more than that, he looks like he belongs here. Now, apparently, Jack's pre jumped off the backboard here. It's on to Jorius. But not a great bounce downwards for him. And now, infield from Jack to no one. That's a bit of a mistake, giving extra the clear. That's going to be dropped down. Lovely defensive play there from Dignitas. They have not had to worry about oh, a long my. siege. Is that almost went in? Dignitas holding very well so far. Monkey Moon up. He's going to try and take it on the challenge, but apparently Jack is just too quick. He popped it away. But it is now a game of pace. And it's one that apparently Jack doesn't have too much boost for. He does get it over to Jorius. And people keep saying, Rocket League has hit the ceiling. I'm sorry, we've got people pre-jumping for a play <laughs> that we can't even see coming yet. The ceiling is not even close to being hit just yet. Apparently, not even as a goal. We've had a couple of good chances. Still nothing in just yet. Two minutes, 45 played. Neither team moving an inch. Oh, we've got multiple players in the lobby right now who are capable of double flip reset plays. Um, you know, we're far from the skill ceiling of even this match far less rocket league what a game it's been just solid from both teams no huge mistakes you know there have been a few wayward touches there's been a couple of uh, you know slight mispositionings but overall this is absolute quality from both teams and it's just now a matter of who's got that clutch factor for me it has to be monkey moon he's looked like the most deadly individual but it you know it could be anyone Every single player in this lobby's got star quality. They've all got that X factor. They all know how to surprise uh, their opposition. And now BDS are starting to get a lot more pressure. They shouldn't worry Dignitas too much. They've really made a name for themselves defensively recently. But after such an even, such a back and forth game one, such a long back and forth in this game one, they won't want to get stuck in defense against BDS. Certainly not. Almost four minutes of overtime. Nine minutes played overall. We still don't know who's going to score the first goal. Is it oh! going to be Monkey Moon? Is it ever? 1-0 BDS take the first game. Huge pass from Extra. Catches Violent Panda and Jory is facing away from the ball at the near post. And after such organized defense for the entire game, Dignitas have left one ball uncontested. And that's all Monkey Moon needed. Still for me, the player who looks ready to dominate even a lobby of this quality, even a game of this quality, Monkey Moon is uh, just a step ahead of everybody else. Monkey Moon just has that level of self-belief in everything that he does. It, I feel like he plays without name tags on because it doesn't matter to him. 
It really doesn't. Vitality, it could even be an open qualifier first round. Monkey Moon is going to take on every single team in the exact same way. But this was just quality the entire way yeah. through. Such wow. clean Rocket League from both teams. And we got one goal. Yeah, we yeah. don't know which way this series is going to go at all at the moment. Uh, but we do know one thing. Dignitas is not going to perfect sweep BDS. <laughs> well, I mean... That's it. Yeah, I, I certainly hope they wouldn't. You know, if they perfect sweep BDS, I, I wouldn't know what to think. Uh, you know, it, it, that would have made it a lot harder to place these teams um, in the rankings because you'd have to expect BDS to be plummeting at that point. But as is... Both teams look pretty good here, but oh my goodness, after an incredibly long overtime, we've got an immediate goal for BDS, and that is a careless kickoff for Dignitas, leaving the corner of the net open there. Jack thought he could get there, doesn't manage. Yeah, it's just the way of this game, isn't it, Johnny? You play in nine minutes without a single goal, and we get one in three seconds. I don't know why we expected anything else, but what we can never expect is what Jorius is going to do when he's on the ball. He's looking probably the most hungry. I have all the Dignitas players right now. He's looking like the one that's most hungry to try and make an individual impact. Gonna open up some gaps. Is it even possible to do so when Monkey Moon can just double tap the ball out of his own side of the field just like that? Fuck. Left that one very late. He almost got an extra way. Had to jump out. Already up yet again. Panda waits for his chance. Good first touch. He can force a challenge here. This entire match is going to turn more and more into a risk versus reward. How much do you want to commit to trying to predict where the ball is going to go after the challenge? Or do you just want to try and look at it a bit more defensively? Jack, free jumps. Oh Even that's not quick enough. I didn't think I'd be saying that today. Joris has managed to get it past two, though. This is a huge chance here for Dignitas. They need players up here, though. Apparently Jack, only just turning up. You can see why. Zero boost for him. Dignitas needs to need the right amount of boost at the right time. And they maybe need Jorius oh. to have a car left. Marked by eight will score it. But what a play by BDS. Yeah, that is just too much for Jorius to do. Has to try and jump over Monkey Moon's demo and get the save at the same time. The problem is he jumps before Monkey Moon did. So Monkey Moon is able to react to that. Great read by him. Perfect timing on the follow-up shot from Mark by eight. If he's any further back there, Jorius won't have to commit as early as he did. So really, that's not on Jorius. He's, he's in an incredibly difficult position. Jack took too long to rotate back. Violent Panda did not take a safe challenge in the corner. And Dignitas are down by two. If you are keeping count, it's three to nothing now for goals. I want to start looking towards maybe Dignitas being on the other side of what they've done to every other team. But they will want to score very soon, and maybe Jorius can do that. Would like to, but he would also like to not be challenged all the time. Things are struggling to get going here in game two. Monkey Moon pass down to Mark, who didn't want it. Instead, extra called in. Things are just trying to look for that one killer challenge that can maybe set them up. Panda already going. He is outpaced. Might be the best one in a while. Jorius is starting to move forward to help out, but the ball in the corner is not going to give Dignitas too many options here. And BDS are not putting a single foot wrong defensively. Yeah, they've uh, they've got that lead. You asked before this one really got going. How will Dignitas play with a deficit? And we didn't get to see that in game one. They never had a deficit. They were tied and then they lost. So there was no actual play from behind. Here we've seen only play from behind, and what we are seeing from Dignitas is a lot more risky play in the BDS corner. They seem to be a bit frustrated here, and that is a complete miss of the near post, allowing extra to put BDS three ahead. A complete change from the last game, Shogun. BDS are just having their way with uh, Dig here. Jack was on the wrong side of the ball, and the net was wide open. Were we foolish to not believe in them? Right now, BDS looking to try and prove everybody that a couple of poor results was the start and the end of last year don't mean a thing because when you get them in a regional, they are just a different caliber. Three to nothing. I don't think BDS have uh, dropped a three goal lead all season. I don't think that they tend to drop two goal leads. This is uh, a lot to ask from a very, very young Dignitas team. 
Chaos team that's still yet to score one so far. Up goes Jorius. Uh, you don't pre-jump early enough, you pre-jump quicker. Has apparently been the option, but wow. At the end of the day, there is only one option for Mark. That is to score. He has secured himself a hat trick. And Dignitas don't look like they've got the same amount of defensive uh, focus in this second game. They have multiple times left a solo defender. And I don't think we saw that once in the last game. Even when BDS scored in game one, it was past two defenders. It was a shot past two goalkeepers, essentially. Um, in this game, we've seen several isolated defenders for Dignitas. It's not really how they've made a name for themselves. They've been all about defense. They've been all about keeping uh, the score as low as possible for their opposition. And this game has been about as far away from that strategy as they've ever been. Uh, I think they need to just go back to what they were doing before. They lost game one, but they didn't look bad in game one. I think they looked phenomenal in game one. So Dignitas, really, if they had just continued doing exactly what they did there, I think they'd probably oh be Lord. fine here. This one's gotten away from them, though. BDS have completely schooled them in game two. And this is looking a lot like what BDS tend to do to teams in the grand finals. Game one tends to look pretty close. Yeah. And then they start to run away with it. We haven't seen a team really recover from this sort of onslaught from BDS. And yes, Dignitas will look to themselves here and think that they should have done much better with it. Can they get the first goal? Monkey Moon will deny them. 5-0 after a game that took nine minutes to get a singular goal. BDS just as lethal as always. This will now be for Dignitas just getting something. Re starting to realize that, hey, this team can be scored on. You get a feeling it's going to have to come from an outplay or something because BDS do not look like they're going to make that major mistake, although they might have just done so here, and they have done. Mark okay. by eight, get caught out, and Jorius will reap the rewards. Yeah, so finally we're going to find out that uh, Dignitas will not be perfect swipe. That was actually savable, though, for Mark by eight. He slowed down briefly before jumping. Had he, you know, kept that momentum, he could have saved this. So we might have been looking at a perfect sweep on the cards here. Um, was that just mercy from BDS? <laughs> you know, it, it may have been, uh, you know, it, it's obviously not a goal that matters in terms of the series score, but that actually might do something for Dignitas here. They finally scored a goal um, after, you know, almost 14 minutes of gameplay. So it is actually, for me, um, a pretty big deal that they got that one. I think it's a big deal on when they got it, because we do see a lot of garbage time goals get scored and then get followed up by maybe two more goals from BDS. They can have that one, they can look at it and, you know, sort of take that momentum heading into game number three and a game three that they need all the momentum they can get because that was what we expected from BDS. I I'm struggling to sort of praise them any more than we usually do. That was pretty poor, though, from Dignitas, especially given the standards that they've set themselves in the last few weeks. Yeah, and even this uh, this uh, the standard they set today, game one was unreal. That was one of the best games of Rocket League I've ever seen. Um, I mean, the level was just crazy. The consistency was, uh, you know, especially impressive um, from every single player on both teams. But now game two, Dignitas were were so careless. You know, I, I don't know, uh, you know, if it was a communication issue. I don't know if they uh, were just really upset at not taking that game one and they, you know, they haven't really refocused and reset and getting back into the, the clean slate game. But uh, what, what I can tell you is that we had a lot of times in this game where Dignitas were uh, taking risky challenges and they're not rotating back and covering each other as, as, they, as well as they did in game one. I'm looking for a lot more ambush challenges from Dignitas in this game. That's what really enables their goalkeepers to be so effective. It's that ball pressure is done by someone else. We'll see if the mere fact that they haven't conceded in the opening three seconds will help them this time. It's going to be a nice infield pass there from Panda, but even better read there from Monkey Moon. That was no nonsense. Going to get rid of that one very, very easily. Now it's BDS looking for their own infield pass. Marked by eight, shut down by apparently Jack. And 12 boost for Panda. Up against a fully boosted extra. You knew which way that one was going to go. And he gets a bump on Jorius. This is a great position, actually, for BDS to be in. Another block, Monkey Moon, trying to set up Mark, who can't win the race to it as cleanly as he would like to. Extra was loitering, he was waiting, and he still might get his chance, but good clear. So a better start for Dignitas, but really anything's better than the last game. Oh my goodness, and now Monkey Moon has just completely styled on them. This guy 
is just something else, Shogun. How on earth does he read this? He read the downward bounce, caught it on the way back up off the ground, and put it past two defenders again. Well, Monkey Moon right now is looking like just another level. The best player in the world, maybe, is how I would describe it's, how Monkey Moon's looking. It's a real shame he's not had the chance to prove this in a more definitive fashion. It really is, because Monkey Moon has had an incredible year. Well, I'd say a full year for himself. We didn't get to see him fully prove himself back in Season 9. He's taken this chance in Season 10 absolutely the best way he can. And there doesn't seem to be a weakness on him. You know, there's been a lot of players that we see. You get this level of quality, but you're, you're giving up something else. You've got to try and rotate for them. You've got to give them more boost. Monkey Moon doesn't take anything away from a team. He only gives. Well, that's not a great ball there from Violet oh. Panda. They almost got caught for it again. And Panda needs to breathe a sigh of relief for that one because that should have been 2-0. Follow-up shot. Panda's not going to need to take that one first time. Monkey Moon just being a bit of a hassle on his way back. Jorius with eight boost. No way past that defensive line. Yeah, by the looks of it, that was the first real mistake from BDSL series. An open net miss for extra. I didn't get to see his uh, perspective on it. But from uh, the midfield, that looked like a completely open net that you, you really shouldn't be missing. So a bit of a chance there for Dignitas to make something happen. Had they gone two goals down, I really I wouldn't be surprised to see the heads go down um, and you know see them tilt like they did in the last game. You know, so far they're keeping focus. They're not, uh, you know, taking too long to rotate back, but they are still getting beaten to the ball. That's just another great recovery by Monkey Moon. So I'm going to do too much for extra, but get rid of some time off the clock. It's a slight misplay there from Monkey Moon. He's going to need a hand, and he has certainly got it. Mark with the double tap, just taking the ball away from oncoming challengers. Dignitas do not want to relinquish this hold that they've got on the other side of the field. A slight double commit there from BDS, but a huge whiff. And that is an easy way out for BDS. Can't be handing them freebies like that one. And up, pops up. He might try and catch somebody out. Torres already going, but they just can't win this race quick enough. Yeah, BDS been... look pristine. They are oh, just dear. playing dig at every uh, look of the ball. That's a great pass for Monkey Moon. He actually had a shot in mind, but he reacted brilliantly. And now Mark's trying to hit extra on the way down from his own shot. So it's just all BDS here. Extra makes it 2-0. And, you know, after such an incredible game one, such a close game one, there has been no question who the better team is here today. BDS dominating game two, dominating game three. Uh, this one's still a lot closer than the last was, but Dignitas really need a goal, Shogun. They just, they don't look like they've got enough threats. They don't look like they've got enough boosts on any of these plays to be a threat. No, it really, oh, go on, Joris. Well, oh, he tried, my. he certainly tried. <laughs> we talk so much about Monkey Moon, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, he's flanked either side by two more world-class players. Here is gonna be another one of them. Mark looking for the flip reset. Didn't fully nail it, but still good enough. And just look at the pace. Two players out for Dignitas, one player gone for BDS. They maintain control of the ball, they maintain territory. As soon as they choose to give it up, they've already got everybody back. This is the gold standard of Europe. Yeah, and that was the chance there for Dig. The, the dribble with the demo running ahead of it, extra in a 1v2. And he made it look easy, to be honest. That was, was just the perfect, uh, yeah, it was just a perfect save by Extra. And the, the key there is he didn't sit back, he didn't run away, he didn't uh, play scared. He, yeah, he's got, you know, two terrifying 1v1 uh, duelists uh, coming at him. He's got, you know, apparently Jack on uh, dribbling, I think it was, and Jory is trying to demo him. But he just uh, goes straight at them, took the challenge head on. Now Dignitas, great chance, he's off the bar, down and out. Now Jory is with the reset double, can he get over it? Just about, but it's wide. And although it's still in front of them, they have to. Bigger scoring, they have surely to. Jarius with 15 seconds to go finally puts it in. They could have done with every single second extra, but at least they've got themselves the goal. Can Dignitas breathe some life back into this series? Or have BDS just done too much? Good loss to the back corner, Jarius already up. That is a well-timed challenge from Monkey Moon. Now they've got to start again. Violet Panda, he's made a mistake! And that'll cost him! BDS, just too much! 
And they have got the 3-1 lead. And they oh. will be taking this series in a sweep. Yeah, you can, you can understand Panda's idea there. He thinks the ball is going to bounce straight down off that uh, curve near the ceiling. But that's not what happens. It actually hits a flat surface. Into the middle it goes. And into the back of the net it goes. BDS win in pretty comfortable fashion um, at the end of the game. But, you know, with six seconds left in the clock, Panda's kind of just got to hope that that bounces kindly for him. Because if it does roll down, he can absolutely smash that ball into the dig into the BDS half. And there's a good chance that uh, either Jorius or Jack will get a, a redirect on target or a redirect into the backboard. So, you know, play, as far as like playing for your actual scoring chance, I think that was a pretty good, uh, you know, gamble to go for for Panda. Mm. Didn't get the read though. And I think that, uh, you know, that's just something BDS have uh, been far better at than Dig here today. Monkey Moon in a lobby full of world-class players, just proving once again why so many people think he's the best player in the world. And Dignitas, yes, they, they've been on a hot streak, but inexperience in game two has cost them dear. Absolutely so. And uh, I would like to personally take uh, a moment aside and just say, I apologize, BDS. There were question <laughs> marks coming into this. They have all been answered. There will be no question about which one is the superior team. But I do hope we get to see this one again and again and again. And we can use this as a benchmark to see how this Dignitas team is progressing. And that is only the first game of the day. And BDS have absolutely smashed it. We come back after a break. We're going to see Oxygen Esports against Team Queso.